Think about how a city is built. Tiny bricks come together to form walls, walls create buildings, and buildings complete the city. Our bodies are organized in a very similar way. Life begins at the smallest unit, the cell. Cells join to form tissues, tissues build organs, and organs work together in organ systems. Finally, all these systems unite to form a complete living organism, a human being. So hello everyone, and welcome to BioScholar. In this video, we'll break down these levels of organization, step by step, to see how simple building blocks combine to create the complexity of life. Let's start with cellular level. Cells are the smallest structural and functional units of all living organisms. Think of them as tiny bricks that form the foundation of life. The human body contains an estimated 100 trillion cells, each carrying out vital functions that keep us alive. Every cell is made up of subcellular structures, with each component performing a specific role necessary for the cell to function properly. Cells come in many shapes and types, each specialized for a particular task. For example, brain cells process information, red blood cells carry oxygen throughout the body, and muscle cells enable movement. Cells are the foundation of complex life. By understanding them, we gain insight into the remarkable organization and function of the human body. Human life is complex. Can a single cell do it all? Absolutely not. That's why cells team up, forming tissues, groups of similar cells working together for a common purpose. The tissue level is the second step in the hierarchy of biological organization. Here, cells are arranged in specific patterns to perform particular tasks. There are four main tissue types in the human body. Epithelial tissue, forms linings and coverings, like skin or the digestive tract. Connective tissue, provides support, examples include bones, cartilage, and blood. Muscle tissue, enables movement. And nervous tissue, controls and communicates via electrical signals. The way cells are organized in a tissue is key to its function. Layered epithelial cells form protective barriers, while elongated muscle cells contract to create movement. By organizing countless cells into these four tissue types, the body takes the first big step toward managing the complexity of life. Tissues don't exist in isolation. When different types of tissues are arranged together in a coordinated way, they form an organ, a structure with a specific function essential for survival. By definition, an organ is made up of at least two types of tissues, but most organs contain all four, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous tissue. Take the heart, for example. Muscle tissue provides the contractions that pump blood, connective tissue holds everything together, epithelial tissue lines the chambers, and nervous tissue regulates the heartbeat. Without this teamwork, the heart could not function. Another example is the stomach. Its muscle tissue churns food, epithelial tissue lines and protects its surface, glandular tissue releases digestive juices, and nervous tissue coordinates contractions. Other vital organs include the lungs for breathing, the liver for detoxification and metabolism, the kidneys for filtering blood, and the skin, which acts as the body's largest protective barrier. Each organ has a specialized role, but together they form the foundation of complex body systems. Without organs, the higher levels of organization could not exist. When organs combine and work together for a common purpose, they form an organ system. An organ system is a team of organs, each with its own role, but all contributing to one major body function. For example, the digestive system includes the mouth, stomach, intestines, liver, and pancreas. Each organ has a specialized task, from breaking down food, to releasing digestive enzymes, to absorbing nutrients into the bloodstream. The respiratory system is made up of the lungs, trachea, and diaphragm. Together, they bring oxygen into the body and remove carbon dioxide, a process vital for survival. The circulatory system, powered by the heart, transports blood, oxygen, and nutrients throughout the body, while the excretory system, including the kidneys and bladder, filters waste products and maintains balance in body fluids. The nervous system, 
with the brain, spinal cord, and nerves, acts as the control center, sending electrical signals to coordinate every action. Meanwhile, the musculoskeletal system allows movement, support, and protection. Each organ system is amazing on its own, but none can keep the body alive by itself. The real miracle is how these systems are interconnected, working together like instruments in an orchestra. The digestive system provides nutrients, the respiratory system provides oxygen, the circulatory system delivers both to cells, and the nervous and endocrine systems regulate it all. In short, organ systems are where the complexity of life begins to truly reveal itself, turning individual organs into a fully functioning network. The final level of biological organization is the organism, a complete, living individual. At this stage, all the body's systems function together as one coordinated whole. What began as a single cell has developed through tissues, organs, and organ systems, finally becoming a self-sustaining human being. The organism level represents the highest complexity, where every part contributes to survival, growth, reproduction, and interaction with the environment. It is the level at which life truly expresses itself, not as separate parts, but as a unified being. On this slide you can see all the levels of organizations found in human being. Now let's take a step back and ask, why does this hierarchy even matter? Imagine if there were no order, cells working randomly, tissues with no direction, and organs not communicating. Life would collapse into chaos. Organization is the reason the human body runs like a finely tuned orchestra. A tiny malfunction at the cellular level can trigger a chain reaction, damaged tissues, failing organs, and entire systems breaking down. Diseases like cancer, diabetes, or heart failure are stark reminders of how interlinked these levels truly are. And if you're looking for a quick way to remember the hierarchy, here's a simple mnemonic, cute tiny organisms organize systems organically. That's cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, and finally, the complete organism. This hierarchy is not just a diagram in a textbook, it is the very framework of life. And there you have it, the journey from a single cell to the complexity of an entire human being. The next time you think about your body, remember, it's not just a collection of parts, but a carefully structured hierarchy where balance is everything. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to BioScholar for more clear and science-backed explanations. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of biology.